Lesson 6.9 Division Rules for 1 and 0. We learned the identity property of multiplication in video lesson 3.7. It states that the product of any number and 1 is that number. The identity property of multiplication can help us divide with 1. 4 times 1 is equal to 4, and 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. 1 times 4 is equal to 4, and 4 divided by 1 is equal to 4. We learned the zero property of multiplication in video lesson 3.7, and it states that the product of zero in any number is zero. The zero property of multiplication can help us divide with zero. We have 4 times 0 is equal to 0, and 0 times 4 is equal to 0. And if we have 0 for our dividend and divided by 4 as the divisor, our quotient will be 0. Do you notice that we don't have 4 divided by 0 here? 0 cannot be a divisor. We can't write 4 divided by 0 because we can't split 0 into 4 equal groups. 0 people can't share 4 cookies because there's no people to do the sharing. There's 0 people. Here we have one box that contains 4 cookies. The number of cookies we have is 4. We're dividing it into the number of boxes, which is 1, so we have 4 in each box. We've got 4 cookies, we've only got one box, so there's going to be 4 in that box. Now here we have 4 boxes that each contain 1 cookie. We have 4 cookies, we divide it into 4 boxes, there's going to be 1 cookie in each box. 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. Here we have 4 boxes that each contain 0 cookies. We have 0 cookies divided into 4 boxes. There's going to be 0 cookies in each box. Here 0 is the dividend and 4 is the divisor. Now we have 0 boxes. We have 4 cookies but we have zero boxes. Zero cannot be a divisor. It cannot be the divisor. We can't have zero boxes that contain cookies. If we have four cookies and we don't have any boxes at all, we can't say how many are in each box. There's no boxes. So remember, zero cannot be a divisor. It can be the dividend and it can be the quotient, but it can't be the divisor, okay? So, our first rule, rule A, says any number divided by 1 is equal to that number. We have 4 divided by 1, it's going to equal 4. Our next rule, rule B, says any number, except 0, divided by itself is equal to 1. 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. So remember, we can't do that with 0. 0 divided by 0 is not 1, okay? Our next rule, rule C, says 0 divided by any number except 0 is going to equal 0. So if 0 is the dividend and it's divided by some number, the quotient is going to be 0. And our last rule, rule D, says we cannot divide by 0. We can't have 0 as a divisor. 0 can only be a dividend or a quotient. It can't be the divisor, okay? Mrs. Lee has four children. She gives each child an equal amount of hugs each day. If she gives a total of eight hugs each day, how many hugs does each child get? When we know she's doing a total of eight hugs each day, that's in all. We know she also has four children. Eight divided by four is equal to how many hugs they each get. And we can think of a related fact. We can think four children times some number of hugs is equal to eight hugs in all. And if we remember, 
4 times 2 is equal to 8, then we know that 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. We used a related multiplication fact to help us solve a division problem. We can find the quotients. Remember, a division problem can be written like this with this division bracket. It's 1 goes into 6. It goes into 6 6 times. Here we have 6 goes into 6. 6 goes into 6 one time. Here 6 goes into 0 0 times. And remember, 0 cannot be a divisor, so we can't do this one. It can be the quotient, it can be the dividend, but it can't be the divisor. We can use multiplication to check our division. We can check to see if we did our work correctly. 24 divided by 4 is equal to 6. We know this division equation is correct because 6 times 4 is equal to 24. That's a related fact. Here we've got 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3. Well, we know this is also correct because 3 times 6 is equal to 18. So we know we did it correctly. There's a type of division called long division and it uses this division bracket. We do 18 divided by 6 and we get the answer 3. We can multiply this divisor 6 and this quotient 3. We multiply them together. 6 times 3 is 18. We subtract that product 18 from the dividend. If the difference is 0, then we know 6 goes perfectly into 18 three times. We're going to learn more about long division when we get into fourth grade. So remember, when we're dividing with 1 and 0, we can use the identity property of multiplication for helping us to divide with 1. We can use the 0 property of multiplication to help us divide with 0. And remember, 0 cannot be a divisor. It can be a dividend or a quotient, but it can't be a divisor. I hope you have a wonderful day, and we're finished with Chapter 6. I hope you're working on your multiplication facts for 4, and we're going to be moving on to Chapter 7 now. I'll see you there. Bye.